It's pennies on the dollar. California and PG&E rolled out some changes as to how residents interact with PG&E. This is called NEM3. NEM just stands for Net Energy Metering, and three is just the phase that it's in. And needless to say, prior was NEM2. Now to help you guys understand this just a little bit more, I drew a little illustration. Now forgive me, I'm not an artist, so bear with me. Before these changes, homeowners were able to send excess energy back to the grid for a significant credit, hence the three large dollar signs. Think of credit as uh, a deposit into your energy piggy bank or an allowance for later use. Then when the sun went down, when your home is no longer producing any more solar energy, these credits were able to offset the energy that you guys need to use during the evening for your EV vehicles, your refrigerator, uh, TV, and uh, pool pump, things like that. It was able to offset and you broke even. And oftentimes your credit would still exceed the amount that you use during the night and sometimes you would even see negative charges on your PG&E. Now, after those changes to NEM3, when the sun goes down, you no longer get much of a credit. It's pennies on the dollar. That dollar sign is so small because it's literally like three to four cents. And at nighttime, when you need energy at night under the NEM3 phase, you would still have to buy back from PG&E at that given market rate. Whatever PG&E is charging at that month or that week or that year, whatever it is, that's what you would have to pay. And that can be anywhere between 46 cents to 54 cents. So that measly credit that you're getting in M3 is not enough to offset the electricity that you're using at night. 